In news from Jamaica, Assistant Commissioner of Independent Commission of Investigations, Indicom, Hamish Campbell, believes 60 months after the establishment of Indicom, the works of the organization remains misunderstood. This, he says, has led to the calling for the organization to be shut down or lose some of its powers, but the Assistant Commissioner says that will not happen. In defending the necessity of the organization, he says Indicom resulted from a need for independent investigations. This, he adds, is a requirement under the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights to which Jamaica is a signatory. It was never for the police service to determine or dictate how such an independent investigations were to be conducted, as is still advocated in some quarters, nor was the concept of creating an independent body to be premised upon a situation whereby apparently the whole of the police force must be corrupt before we can create an independent commission, as was asserted last week in one of the newspapers. The independence is for the public is for the citizens, is for the complainants, is for the victims, is for the victims' families. That's, that's who the independence is primarily for. Independence is to allay the fears and concerns and to provide confidence and reassurance to them. So this concept of somehow it, another form of independence existing is not really going to work. Mr. Campbell indicates that under the convention, the right to life is a right for everyone and Jamaica is no exception to that rule. He says the organization is determined to maintain its independence and impartiality despite persons trying to discredit its significance. He adds that the forces tasked with protecting the people of the country need to be held accountable for their actions. One of Indicom's responsibilities is to shine a light on issues affecting the police and this country. And for me, and for many, it is the issue of fatal shootings which is the central issue that must continue to be addressed. They're mentioned frequently. I mention them every time I'm on the radio or in the media when we get the opportunity. But something troubles me that they seem to be ignored or forgotten or misunderstood the scale of the fatalities which created the Commission. In 2011, 210 people were killed by the agents of state, primarily the police force. In 2012, 219 people were killed. In 2013, 258 people were killed. And this depressing increase upwards has been going on for years. In the four, 10 years between 2004 and 14, 2,390 people were killed by the agents of the state. And I don't believe that this level of under fatalities is truly understood. Because if the media actually reported on every death, as is reported in other countries where a death occurs by the police, as you can see in America and numerous other states, um, there would not have been a single week in two decades where the media would not have reported a death. The assistant commissioner says if that were the case, the enormity of what has happened and continues to happen would be more appreciated. But instead, there is silence, which is why income continues to be necessary. Now is not the time to argue for the changing of powers of Indicom by the very body which is being inquired into as regarding these fatalities. But there is good news on the horizon. I think at this five-year mark, 2014 saw 115 people killed by agents of the state. The greater majority again by the JCF and one or two by the JDF. That was a 55% reduction, over half on the number of shootings from 2013. And this year to date, as I say, 58 people have been killed. The JCF, the constabulary force here, are on the pathway to see less than 100 fatalities by the end of 2015. And if they achieved that, they would have, you would have to go back before 1999 to see a figure below 100 fatalities by the police force in this country. So whilst the downturn is significant, and it must be acknowledged, it is evident for us, that behaviour can be altered and addressed, and leadership and effective control within the JCF can begin to take effect. And this influence of change is Indicom's central achievement in five years, as far as I'm concerned, and Commissioner Williams and others.